Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to make more interesting game on scratch today our task is to make a cat fly open google chrome and open a scratch now click on create Now select a sprite. I am going to select a flying cat. Delete the previous object. Now let's start the coding. I am selecting when flick click from the events option. Now go to looks option and select say hello for 2 seconds. Now I'm changing hello with more interesting beginning. I'm tapping here it's time to fly. Now we are going to connect our cat with keyboard. Now go to events option and select when space key pressed. Now select space and change it with up and down key pressed. It's mean if we are going to press our up key on keyboard then our cats fly upward and if we press down so our cats come down. Now go to motion and select change y by 10. If we are going to move our cat upward so why should be positive and we use negative sign to move our cat down like i am writing change y by minus 10 on down key now again go to events option and select when key pressed so in this we are going to select right and left key for moving our object right side we are going to select change x by 10 and for moving it on the left side so we are using minus sign go to motion and select change x by 10 and change x by minus 10 for left arrow now let's check is it working or not oh yes when i'm pressing the upward key on my keyboard then my cat fly up with down key it's come down similarly it's working for right and left now select background now we are selecting another object change its size start coding on our second object when flag clicked from events and forever from controls next go to random position from the motions change x by 250 Remove the ten and write two fifty over there. Now select repeat ten times from controls. Now change x by minus fifteen. Oops, it's moving so fast. Now I'm changing repeat 10 times with 32. Now it's working perfectly. Now again come to first object, then go to variables, click on make a variable. 
I'm writing my variable name in the score. Now see the score variable on the top left of your output window. Now again select when flag click. Now go to variable and select set my variable to zero. Now change the my variable name. This is my variable name is a score. Now select if then from controls. Now go to sensing options and then select touching mouse pointer. Then change mouse pointer with our second object. Now go to variables. Select change my variable by 1. Now select wait one second from controls. Now arrange your coding in a proper way. Now check is it working or not. Oops, it's not working properly. Can you guess it why? Come on, think about it my little programmers. Yes, we forget to change our variable. Now let's check it again. Oops, our cat is again facing a problem. Come on, guess it and tell me in comment session that you guess it right or wrong. Yes, we forgot forever key. Now I am going to put forever key on variable session. Oh yes, we did it. Now let's play a game which is designed by yourself. Also tell me your score which you earn just in one minute. I just scored 13 and I am getting tired. Now I am waiting for your comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.